chamber singers, King, please come forward for the Lorraine Admiral King alma mater. students who will receive the Lorraine High School diplomas today we will now have the chamber singers sing the Lorraine High School alma mater and then Ron Lumen will play a musical selection bring him home
I'd like to now call forward Jennifer Harris for our opening. As we gather here this afternoon to acknowledge the closing of one chapter in our book of life and celebrate the beginning of another chapter, may we all remember those who have made this possible. These include our parents, our teachers, our friends, and most importantly, our God. We should all give thanks to our parents for providing us with the necessities we needed throughout our lives, for guiding and encouraging to achieve, and for believing in our potential for success. We should be grateful for our teachers for providing valuable instructions, for assisting us in reaching our goals, and motivating us to participate to our fullest. We should thank our friends for being there for us through the good times, as well as our trials and tribulations. And finally, we should all be especially grateful to God for being our rock of support, our provider of knowledge, and our closest friend. Thank you. To introduce a few of our guests who are with me on my left, and I'd like to introduce them all, and if you'd please withhold your applause until I've introduced them all, I'd appreciate it. First of all, Mrs. Jensen, member of Lorraine Board of Education. Mr. Ramos. President of the Lorraine Board of Education, Mr. Hutlock, Superintendent of the Lorraine City Schools, Mr. Majeski, Director of Educational Services, Mrs. Jackson, Assistant Principal, and Dr. Buford, Student Services Director. May we could please give them all a big round of applause. <laughs> to welcome everyone here this afternoon. Our 1996 commencement is special because it celebrates a transition year in which two Lorraine High Schools were successfully merged. The success we experienced is a tribute to the young men and women seated here before you. Their leadership, dedication, and commitment to excellence make a smooth transition possible. For this, we thank them. Graduates, as we gather here today to recognize your past achievements and to encourage your future endeavors, I challenge each of you to take what you have learned and use it well. Use it as you begin a new phase of your life, as you enroll in college, join the military, or enter the workforce. Use it as you meet new challenges and face new obstacles. Use it to make the world a better place. Remember, as you say farewell to today, say hello to tomorrow. Grab hold of your new beginning and turn it into a wonderful, productive, and fulfilled life. It is the wish of everyone here that your pathway be straight and your journey be filled with success and happiness. To the class of 1996, congratulations, you're the best. Of all the honors a school can award to its members, none is considered more important than the recognition of being named to either the service plaque or being recognized as an honor graduate. It is a tradition to have the principal read the list of those seniors in the top 5% of their class in each category at commencement. There are numerous opportunities for young people to contribute to the operation of this school during their four-year high school career. They may earn service credit points by participation in music, athletics, dramatics, clubs, publications, student council, teachers of office aiding, ushering, concession stand working, etc. Those graduating seniors who of all members of their class have made their greatest contribution to the school will now be listed in alphabetical order ending with the number one person who has the most service points. The students will stand as their names are read. I will ask the audience to withhold their applause until all service plaque award winners are standing. The service award winners are Jonah Barron, Megan Campana, Stacy Hodke, Jared Hudson, Melissa Mahilo, Jamie Mollison, Natasha Nieves, Heather Pavlich, Holly Phillips, Clarabel Santos, Amanda Shu, Amy Smith, Angela Teets, Gabriel Tomaszewski, Carl White, and number one, 
and there's two number ones, Kirsten Smucker and Nicole Whalen. Please give them a round of applause. And now to the honor graduates, those scholars who have maintained the highest academic excellence during these four years. This is what education is all about. To have reached this high level of achievement, these seniors have made many sacrifices and have exerted much self-discipline. And we congratulate them for their willingness to give so much of themselves. Sharing in this honor certainly are the families of these young people, for they have provided the proper environment within the home so that their children could concentrate on schoolwork. Doubtless, mothers and fathers have made some sacrifices of their own as they encourage their sons and daughters to do their very best. We are proud of those pupils whose names have just been read as the ones to be engraved on the service plaque, but we are doubly proud of those outstanding scholars whose names will go on the twin plaque to be displayed in the halls of Lorraine Admiral King forever. The names of the honor graduates will also be given in alphabetical order, ending with the students who are the valedictorian and salutatorian of this year's class. Will you please again withhold your applause until all students are standing? The honor graduate, Cynthia Colon, Julie Zubach, Those are special honor cords that we're putting around them to be sure that we signify their fine academic accomplishments. Colleen Curtis. Stacy Hodkey. Seth Kim. Daryl Maxwell. Rachel Moskovitz. <laughs> Natasha Nieves. <laughs> Kirsten Smucker. Jennifer Zarek. <laughs> Valerie Toth. Angela Teets. Nicole Whalen. Cami Wright. And we have two Slutatorians this year, Amanda Shu. and Amy Smith.
Our two valedictorians this year are Jared Hudson. and Ron Lumen. My personal congratulations and may we please now have a big round of applause. A question that is often asked is how well do students do who attend college in terms of receiving scholarships? This question will now be addressed. The scholarship list will include those scholarships already granted and not those that are still forthcoming. Congratulations to the recipients and please stand as your names are read. Will you again please withhold your applause until all students are standing? The scholarship recipients in alphabetical order are University Oscar Ritchie Memorial Scholarship Echo Award, Brian Ashk, Muskingum College, Muskingum College Music Scholarship, Jonah Barron, John Carroll University, President's Honor Scholarship, Dusendon Scholarship, Katrina Bryant, Lorraine County Community College, LCC Minority Incentive Scholarship, Megan Campana, John Carroll University, John Carroll University Scholarship Financial Aid Package. Pamela Sue Carrion, Marine County Community College, LCC Minority Incentive Award and Echo Lumina Award. Kelly Klein, Bowling Green State University, Presidential Scholarship. Courtney Clinton, Central State University, Central State University Grant. Nicole Collins, Akron University, Lorraine Foundation Scholarship, President Scholarship, Minority Incentive Scholarship. Cindy Cologne, Ohio State University, Prestigious Scholarship, Hispanic Fund Scholarship. Julianne Zubach, John Carroll University, John Carroll University Scholarship, Lozer Scholarship, Financial Aid Package, John Carroll. Colleen Curtis, United States Defense Department, Language Institute, U.S. Army Scholarship. Tammy Dalton, Lorraine County Community College, LCC Presidential Scholarship. Cynthia Gargas, Lorraine County Community College, Presidential Scholarship. Amy Garl, Lorraine County Community College, LCC Presidential Scholarship. Brian Gates, Albion College, Webster Scholarship. Jennifer Harris, Ohio State University, Young Scholars Program Scholarship. Kevin Harris, Ohio State University, Young Scholarship, Who's Who Among American High School Students Scholarship. Stacy Hotkey, Mount Union College, Mount Union Academic Merit Award, J. Ed Ulan Award, and Financial Aid Package. Jared Hudson, University of Toledo, Lempert Scholarship, Peter Peterson Scholarship, and Ohio Academic Scholarship. Josh Ujoa, Hurlbut, U.S. Army, the Army College Fund. Sean Johnson, Ohio State University, Young Scholars Program Scholarship. Samara Jones, Lorraine County Community College, LCC Minority Incentive Award. William Kennard, Central State University, Financial Aid Package, Central State. Seth Kipp, University of Cincinnati, Mary Roll Moore Admission with Distinction Award, Materials Engineering Freshman Award, University Honor Scholarship. Jody Kaiser, Eastern Michigan University, Regent Scholarship, Recognition of Excellence Award, W. O. Larson Scholarship. Michael Kredovix, Lorraine County Community College, Challenge for Tomorrow Scholarship, Trustee Scholarship. Karen Lugar, Kent State University Financial Aid Package. Ron Lumen, Ohio State University, National Merit Scholarship, Walter H. Kidd Fund Award, Ohio State Distinguished Scholar Award, Robert C. Byrd, Honor Scholarship. Helen McDougall, Lorraine County Community College, Presidential Scholarship. Melissa Mihailo, Ohio State University, American Business Women's Association Scholarship. Grace Louise McCall, Lorraine County Community College, Minority Incentive Award. Jamie Mollison, Lorraine County Community College, Trustee Scholarship. Jason Moore, Ashland University Athletic Scholarship in Football. Crystal Morgan, Ohio State University Young Scholars Program Scholarship. Nicole Morris, Lorraine County Community Scholarship, Presidential Scholarship. Rachel Moskowitz, Duquesne University, Strub Merit Award. Walter Munez, Lorraine County Community College, Minority Incentive Award. Natasha Nieves, Bowling Green State University, Minority Diversity Award. Calling for Tomorrow Scholarship and Echo Award. Juan Oliva, Lorraine County Community College, Minority Incentive Award. 
Clarence Orr, Ohio State University, Alfred J. Lozer Scholarship, Dusendon Scholarship. Robert Shane Paban, Lorain County Community College, Minority Incentive Award. Holly Phillips, Lorain County Community College, Presidential Scholarship. Latrice Ann Ralston, Lorain County Community College, Minority Incentive Award. Emily Ramos, Ohio State University, Alfred J. Lozer Scholarship, ECHO Award, BF Goodrich Scholarship, Ohio State University Excellence Award, and McDonald Scholarship. Clarabelle Santos, Lorain County Community College, ECHO Award, and Minority Incentive Award. Stacy Schaefer, Lorain County Community College, Presidential Scholarship, Summer Sampler Program Award. Joshua Schlegler, Valparaiso University, Valparaiso Engineering Scholarship. Amanda Shu, John Carroll University, John Carroll Academic Scholarship, Presidential Honors Scholarship, Lorraine Foundation Scholarship, American Values Scholarship, George Daniel Scholar Athlete Award, and the Dusendon Scholarship. Amy Smith, University of North Carolina's Honors Program, Ohio PTA Scholarship, and a Robert C. Byrd Honor Scholarship. Chris Smith, Kent State University, Lorraine Foundation Scholarship. Shayla Joy Smith, Ohio State University, Young Scholars Program Scholarship. Kirsten Smucker, Muskingum College, Muskingum College Academic Scholarship. Terry Summers, Lorraine County Community College, Presidential Scholarship and Danny Award Scholarship. Angela Teets, Baldwin Wallace College, Baldwin Wallace Scholars Award, Baldwin Wallace Presidential Scholarship, Alfred J. Lozer Memorial Scholarship, Phi Delta Kappa Scholarship and Dusendon Scholarship. Valerie Toth, Denison University, Heritage Academic Scholarship, Alfred J. Lozer Scholarship. Jess Jessica Velez, Lorain County Community College, Minority Incentive Award. Nicole Whalen, Lorain County Community College, Presidential Scholarship. Tyree Whitaker, Lorain County Community College, Trustee Scholarship. Carl White, California State University, Athletic Scholarship and Basketball. Cammy Wright, Lorain County Community College, Trustee Scholarship. Folks, take a good look at these students who are standing before you. It gives me great privilege and pleasure of Lorraine Admiral King High School to announce that those students that are standing before you total in scholarships $1,006,004. How about a big round of applause? Our superintendent of the Lorraine City School, Superintendent Nicholas Hucklock, for the introduction of our class speakers. Thank you, Dr. Coleman. Today marks the 117th time that the Lorraine community, the graduating seniors, their teachers, and their parents celebrate the tradition of high school graduation. Traditions include the superintendent saying a few words to the graduating class, and having the honor of introducing the class speakers. Graduates, as you leave this afternoon, each of you will say to someone, take care. Take care of the special gifts and talents that are yours. Work hard to develop them and be wise in how you use them. Take care of your relationships. Keep and seek those that contribute to your self-esteem and your well-being. Take care of the values that you hold important, <clears throat> the values that enrich your life and the lives of others. Take care of the lessons that you've learned, bring them into clear focus, and let them guide you during the times of challenge and the experiences of failure and success. Take care of your memories, of the painful ones, let them not deny you the risks that it takes to grow. And of the joyful ones, nurture them so as to keep a smile in your heart. Take care of your body, honor it with care and protect it from abuse. And take care of your hopes, they are the source of a better tomorrow and a better world. And so our children, <clears throat> go well, go well. Thank you. Our first class speaker is Amy Smith, the daughter of Steve and Gail Smith, 
She is the salutatorian of Lorraine Admiral King's class of 1996. During her high school years, Amy has been a member of the marching band, the concert band, and the jazz band. She has served as chamber choir student director and National Honor Society president. In addition, she has been a member of the student council, the academic challenge team, and the WLAK news team. Amy has received numerous reward, awards, including the Bausch and Lam Science Award, the Louis Armstrong Jazz Award, the John Philip Sousa Award, and the Junior All-American Hall of Fame Band Award. Amy has been on the honor roll and has attended four academic banquets. She was honored at the Quota Club Woman of Service Luncheon, the Plain Dealer Scholastic Excellence Banquet, and the WEWS Channel 5's Best of the Class. Amy plans to enroll in the Honors Program at the University of North Carolina, where she will major in theater and communications. She's received an Ohio PTA scholarship and the Robert C. Byrd Honor Scholarship. Please join me in welcoming Amy Smith. Are you, are you going to speak? I don't know how long. Maybe if we move this back a little bit. I hope it bring it up. How's that? Thanks. Just speak right. Superintendent Hutlot, Board of Education, Dr. Coleman, administrators and faculty of Lorraine Admiral King, family, friends, and fellow graduates. I'd like to share with you a story that has touched me very deeply with a lesson I will always remember. It is from The Little Prince by Antoine de Saint-Exupéry. The Little Prince lives on a very small planet and he is very proud and adoring of his one extraordinary flower. He has spent much time and energy to make his flower comfortable and happy, and he has grown to love her. When he visits Earth, though, he finds that his flower is just an ordinary rose, and she is not so unique after all. When he sees this, he is so disillusioned that he lies down on the grass and he weeps. He soon learns from a wise fox that for everything in the world, we may find a hundred thousand just like it. But what can make one thing distinctive from all the rest is the effort and the caring we give to it. Then that one thing becomes so special to us that it doesn't matter that it is not unique to the rest of the world. What matters is that it is unique to us. The little prince realizes that his rose is extraordinary because she is his rose. She is the rose he has tended and loved, and that is what makes her different from all the other roses in the world. As the fox said, it is only with the heart that one can see rightly. What is essential is invisible to the eye. This story shows us that things become important to us when we take the time to understand them. The little prince says, what makes a desert beautiful is that somewhere it hides a well. Everything possesses beauty in some way, but it takes patience and caring to find it. The things that we put the most work and effort into are the most important to us and the most beautiful to us. In that light, we can reflect upon this day. As our senior year began, both the students of Lorraine High and Admiral King brought their collective roses into one garden. We had to share what was so special about our high school years in a way none of us could have anticipated. We faced the reality and not the theory of working together, compromising positions and understanding differences. Many of us hurt, which only meant that we cared. So we did the mature thing. We began to care about each other. Then it became possible to enjoy the privileges and the pride of being a senior. We carefully tended our garden of individual roses, and in doing so, we seeded a new rose, Lorraine Admiral King. There may only be a few things in life that we will ever love as much as the little prince loves his rose, but those things will be so magnificent to us that they will make our lives more worth worthwhile and more meaningful than we ever thought possible. The story of the little prince 
reminds us that we never have to think of ourselves as just an ordinary rose, that each of us is a rare and beautiful rose in someone's eyes. And we must always remember to be a rare and beautiful rose in our own eyes. That is what makes all the difference. That is what makes all the difference. Speaker is Jared Hudson. Jared is the son of Wayne and Lori Hudson. He is the valedictorian of the class of 1996. He's enrolled in an honors curriculum. Jared has been on the honor roll each quarter of high school and has attended four academic banquets. Jared has been a member of the marching band, the concert band, and the Kingsman's Jazz, Jazz Ensemble. In addition, he served as vice president of the National Honor Society and captain of the academic challenge team. Special awards given to Jared include the Phi Beta Kappa Award, the Harvey Jazz Fest Award, and the Plain Dealer Scholastic Excellence Award. Furthermore, he's been named Outstanding Scholar in the WEOL Scholastic Games and the Outstanding Junior in Math and Science. Jared plans to attend the University of Toledo and major in Chemical Engineering. He has thus far received a Peter Peterson Scholarship, a Lempert Scholarship, and the Ohio Academic Scholarship. Please join me in welcoming Jared Hudson. Congratulations. Is this tall enough for you? You kind of got to speak right into it. Uh, The first day of school this year ushered in a myriad of new challenges which our graduates had to address. Everyone was excited about the start of their final year in high school and senioritis plagued most of our minds. The senior year was supposed to be one in which we cruised because we had no serious course requirements remaining except government and English. Boy, were we wrong. From day one, demands were made from all levels of the educational hierarchy. Teachers assigned unprecedented amounts of work, counselors hounded people for scholarship applications, and coaches demanded 110% of our effort and our time. The graduates also had family and work commitments to further complicate their busy lives. The senior year became a true test of the character and perseverance of each student. Budgeting one's time was integral to reaching the pinnacle we are celebrating today. If it meant staying up until tomorrow working on English or studying for physics at work, our graduates were determined to participate here this afternoon. The most strenuous test of our class's resolve was the month of May. Numerous banquets and special events cluttered our social calendars, sometimes at the expense of schoolwork. May brought some of the most difficult coursework in our high school careers. Volume was the watchword for our teachers. Anyone with less fortitude than the class of 1996 would have succumbed to the pressure. However, the graduates sitting here today balanced family, work, homework, and fun successfully. The senior year was characterized by many life decisions as well. The end of compulsory education can offer many exciting possibilities. Standardized tests such as the ACT and SAT were foremost on many minds during the first quarter. Colleges were scrutinizing the scores, searching for prime candidates for their institutions. With these exams out of the way, students had to sift through volumes of mail to decide on the school of their dreams. Scholarship forms then had to be filled out and turned in on time. Acceptance and the final decision on which school to attend brought relief from this situation. For seniors not going to college, the challenge of real life awaits them. No longer will everything be provided for them. They will have to fend for themselves and survive. Whether in the service or in the private sector, these students will face the grim reality that they are leaving the sheltered life that they are accustomed to and must now stand on their own. Perhaps the most significant challenge the graduates faced was the transition from being boys and girls to being men and women. The culmination of this process is our commencement. 
It is the ultimate rite of passage a young person can face. Selfishness must be set aside, pettiness must be buried, and discipline must be self-dealt. Students must acquire these virtues through high school so that at commencement their maturity can truly be recognized. This maturity is the hallmark of adulthood and will help the class of 1996 face the challenges the future holds. Our final class speaker is, was chosen by the senior class. She is Melanie Alves. She is the daughter of Edward and Jenny Alves. During her senior year, she not only completed her coursework at Lorraine Admiral King, but she also attended Lorraine County Community College. Melanie has been a member of the Senior Advisory Committee, the Student Council, and the National Honor Society. And in addition, she served as a volunteer at Lorraine Community St. Joseph's Health Center. Melanie received the Lumina Award from ECHO, the Award of Merit from the State Department of Education, and her second academic letter. She's also listed in Who's Who among American high school students. Melanie plans to attend State, Kent State University and major in biology and pre-medicine. She's received the Oscar Ritchie Memorial Full Tuition Scholarship and an ECHO Scholarship from the Hispanic Community Foundation. Please join me and the senior class in welcoming Melanie Alves. It was the best of times, it was the worst of times. It was the age of wisdom, it was the age of foolishness. It was a season of light, it was a season of darkness. It was a spring of hope, it was the winter of despair. We had everything before us, we had nothing before us. In short, the period was far like the present period. Charles Dickinson. But in reality, the future is wide open to us and can leave us feeling uncertain. To conquer this fear, this feeling of overwhelming nervousness about the future, we must learn to set our goals and then go out and achieve them. There are so many great opportunities and freedoms to be what we want to be, to do what we want to do and have what we want to have. All we need to do is follow the forces that shape our lives, that inspire us to learn to live, lead, and strive for personal success. To be success successful means learning to play the game of life. It means to be what you want by, you, be, by being creative, by using your skills and talents, and discover your gifts. It means finding that special part in your life and then working at it until you are completely satisfied. People who find this inner strength do not wait for opportunities to present themselves. They create them by setting their goals and sacrificing to obtain them. They invest themselves in what they believe to be, excuse me, to be important. Cows do not just give milk. It has to be taken from them. But keep in mind that no one has to hurt or destroy the cow to obtain the milk, but by nurturing the cow for a purpose. This is also true in life. What you give is returned to you. This can only begin with your own leadership. We must all become the sole leaders of our lives. We must take advantage of all the skills and talents that we have obtained and apply these to our future. Life is like that university. As a student in life, we have a course of study in which you will be involved. Among the many different courses, there are requirements and electives. The requirements are courses you must take, and the electives are things from which you may choose. We will face success, failure, relationships, bonding, and separation. We choose to have hobbies, an education, close friends, to work, and how we behave. In combining our requirements and electives, we form the basis of our lives, and that includes our morals, values, philosophy, and goals. Many of the educational experiences we have had assist us in gaining wisdom and growing into the people we want to be. 
We have all taken the classes to start us on the way to controlling our destinies. My advice to the class of 1996 in planning your future is first, be an individual and lead yourself. Then set your goals. Devise a plan on how you are going to achieve them. Make a projection on where you want to be in the future. And always evaluate all choices before you make that final decision. If need be, change your goals based upon your own experiences, interests, personal likes and dislikes, and your discoveries about what works in your life. Remember to stick to your plan and not be distracted by something less than what you, can, you know you can obtain. You will then achieve the success you are looking forward to in the future. So as we face this period of transition into the future, life often does present us with a choice of evils rather than of goods. But it is the choices that we make with these evils that can turn them all into goods. With great honor, I now present the class of 1996 to receive their diplomas. Class, please stand. A speech, and it had to be a 30-minute speech, but I told him I only needed 25, so here it goes. On behalf of the Lorraine Board of Education, I welcome you to this afternoon's graduation ceremony. We are here today to honor the class of 1996 and to commend each student for a job well done. These fine young men and women have worked diligently to achieve the goals they have set for themselves and we are proud to recognize their accomplishments. We are also proud to acknowledge the seniors' willingness to adopt a change, to meet new challenges, and to successfully move forward. The class of 1996 worked together to help make Lorraine Admiral King an excellent high school. Graduates, today I have the privilege of presenting you with a hard-earned diploma. In return, I ask you to continue to be positive, productive citizens of our community. I ask you to share with others the knowledge and skills you have acquired so that the city of Lorraine and the world at large will benefit from the education you have received. On behalf of the Board of Education, I congratulate you and wish you all the best in the years to come. Thank you. Thomas Parrott. <laughs> Nilsa Jimenez. David Wright. Mervyn Adamas. Felicia Allgood. Melanie Alves, receiving the Honors Diploma. Richard Amador. Brian Ash. <laughs> Evelise Atkinson. Karen Bagola. Joy Baird. Jana Barron receiving the honors diploma. Alex Bevan. <laughs> Kenneth Boone. <laughs> Scotty Boyer. <laughs> Michelle Bracey. <laughs> David Brown. Rebecca Brown. <laughs> Katrina Bryant. <laughs> Emilio Burgos. <laughs> Holly Burns. 
Shannon Butcher. <laughs> Megan Campana. <laughs> Pamela Carrion. <laughs> Angela Carter. <laughs> Paris Carter. Juan Castro. <laughs> Honesty Clark. Shante Clayton. <laughs> Kelly Klein. <laughs> Courtney Clinton. Marlena Collins. Nicole Collins. Cindy Cologne. Brando Corsino. Wade Cox. Brandy Cromwell. Stephen Crouch. Julie Chubach. Colleen Curtis receiving the honors diploma. Tammy Dalton. Yvette Diaz. Neil Dietrich. Nicholas Doré. Christopher Dove. Christine Evans. Edmund Fairley. Gabriela Faria. Elva Flowers. Michael Garcia. Cynthia Gargas. Amy Girl. Shanae Garner. Brian Gates. James Gotzi. Francisco Gonzalez. Amanda Green. William Greenless. John Grimm. Carrie Harkless. Jennifer Harris. Kevin Harris. Bridget Hartman. Cartius Harvey. Marianne Havilan. Tamika Hawthorne. Danielle Hill. <laughs> Kristen Hiltabeidel. <laughs> Stacy Hotkey. <laughs> Brandy Holbrook. Jared Hudson receiving the honors diploma. 
Joshua Hurlbut. Thomas Jackson. Tiffany James. Melissa Jarrett. Sean Johnson. Samara Jones. Jeffrey Cates. William Kennard. Robert Kerpix. Sandra Kilkenny. Seth Kip receiving the honors diploma. Jody Kaiser receiving the honors diploma. Amber Klingshern. Sean Connor. Odakar Kovar. Michael Kredovitz. Donald Krog. Vicki Kursak. Jennifer Keene. Lizette Lopez. Karen Lugar. Eric Lucas. Ron Luman receiving the honors diploma. McDougal, <laughs> Melissa Mihailo, Dan Majeski receiving the honors diploma, Nicole Mancini, Amy Mass. Lori Mass. Christy Masters. Donald Masters. Amy Matatek. Daryl Maxwell. Grace McCall Baez. Starlita McCall. <laughs> Melody McGee. <laughs> Crystal Meyer. <laughs> Tanya Menifee. <laughs> Stephen Mercurio. <laughs> Samantha Mihalovich. Matthew Mixa. Miladenka Milankovic. Ryan Minnick. Amy Misko. Jamie Mollison receiving the honors diploma. Jason Moore. Sandy Moore. Crystal Morgan. Dale Morris. 
Nicole Morris. Rachel Motzkowitz, receiving the honors diploma. Latasha Mosley. Mary Mowry. Walter Munez. Nellie Munez Figueroa. Natasha Nieves. Denise Nakora. Heather Noble. Maggie Notley. Robert Novak. Marie Novotny. Andrew Nowicki. Juan Oliva. Clarence Orr. Evelyn Ortiz. Robert Caban. Brent Parker. Pamela Parsons. Heather Pavlik. Jacob Perez. Phillips, Kara Palowski, Kimberly Post, Megan Pulliam, Holly Rascio. Latrice Ralston. Emily Ramos receiving the honors diploma. Chad Reeser. Jose Reyes. Victoria Rigo. Diamati Rivera. Matisha Robinson. Jessica Rodriguez. Maria Ara Rosado. Tim Rosenbaum. Anthony Rufo. Pamela Rakowski. Clarabelle Santos. Stacy Schaefer. Joshua Schlager. Amanda Shu receiving the honors diploma. Michael Scott. Farah Shaw. Clifford Sims. Quinton Small. Amy Smith receiving the honors diploma. Chris 
Christopher Smith. Nadine Smith. Nicole Smith. Nina Smith. Shayla Smith. Kirsten Smucker receiving the Honors Diploma and also National Honor Society. Barbara Sova. Brian Spencer. Michael State. Derek Suggs. Terry Summers. Cheryl Swab. Jennifer Zarek receiving the honors diploma. Daniel Zorka. Anthony D'Italiano. Angela Teets. David Thomas. Regina Thomas. Kara Tobias. Emily Tokarsik. Victor Toledo. Gabrielle Tomajeski. Deborah Tomeko. Ramon Torres. Valerie Toth receiving the honors diploma. Stephen Tremaine. Erica Tyler. Matthew Van Horn. Victor Vargan. Jessica Velez. Dino Bellick. Robert Watchhorn. Cindy Weir. Anne Marie Rosinski. Joe West. Nicole Whalen. Tyree Whitaker. Carl White. Claude Wiggins. Russell Wilson. Maria Winland. Luke Wolf. John Warden. Cammy Wright receiving the honors diploma. Karen Wright. Russell Yabara. Ye <laughs> T. 
Tijuana Young. Matthew Uhas. The class of 1996. I'd like to call our chamber singers forward for the Lord bless you and keep you. going to conclude the program instead of a recessional march we are instead going to have a special drum roll that will conclude our program from our band congratulations This has been a production of WLCS TV 61 Lorraine City Schools.